Uh, we have the function right here. They are asking uh, find the derivative of this function using definition of derivative. So let's see how we can do this. So first of all, we have to know what is the definition of derivative. It's going to be f prime x is going to be equal to f of x plus h minus f of x right over h. So if I do that, so instead of x, I plus uh, plug x plus h. So it's going to be sine 2 times x plus h minus sine x sine sine 2x right sine 2x over h and we had don't forget we had to put limit h approaches 0 limit h approaches 0 so we put this one right here and now let's expand h approaches 0 so sine 2x so if I expand this one it's going to be sine 2x sine 2x cos 2h plus cos 2x sine 2h minus sine 2x so in the next step what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the sines together sine uh, x's together so it's going to be sine 2x cos 2h minus sine 2x plus cos 2x sine 2h over h so in this case what I can do is I can take the sine 2x common so it's going to be h approaches 0 sine 2x common so it's going to be cos 2h minus 1 and here we have so I can separate it separate it so it's going to be cos 2h minus 1 over h and plus because both of them have common uh, denominator h I can separate it by adding h together so this is going to be cos 2x sine 2h over h <coughs> so now what uh, one thing why I can do the one thing is I had to I can bring this uh, bring this sine 2x to the this other side in, for in front of the limit sine 2x in front of the limit and if I bring the this one equal to 2 since cos 2h this one equal to 2 I can make this one equal to 0 because that is a general formula so if I multiply this one by 2 it's going to be 2 cos 2h minus 1 over h so I multiply top and bottom by 2 plus limit I can do the same thing here but it's different uh, like for this one I can bring the cos 2x in front x in front and if I multiply this one by 2 by 2 it become 1 so it's going to be limit x approaching 0 sin uh, 2 sin 2h over h so I continue here so I can uh, now get rid of uh, limit because I don't I'm not going to have the x uh, h anymore so I can get rid of the limit so it's going to be sin 2x times 2 times this value is going to be 0 this whole, whole value is going to be 0 because if you get this kind of thing it's mean it's 0 that's the general formula and plus and cos 2x times uh, 2 and this whole thing is uh, and bottom I'm multiplying bottom and drop by 2 so this whole thing is equal to 1 so this uh, this is also a general formula so it's going to be this is going to be 0 and this is going to be 2 so it's going to be 2 cos 2x 
this is my final answer i hope you guys like this video see you next time